a little background. Can we start in verse 31 of Genesis chapter 1? There's somebody with a really nice voice. Uh, I'll start reading. I'm in Genesis. That's the first book of the Bible. All right, all right. Okay. And so I'm in chapter 1 of the first book of the Bible, right? Verse 31. It says, God saw all that he had made. Now, that's work. That's work there. Right? God saw the end results of all his work. God saw all that he made, and it was very good. It was very good. And that was evening, and that was morning, the sixth day. And it did that for each of the days. Now in chapter 2, it says, Thus the heavens and the earth were completed, and that's the work of God, in all their vast array. Verse 2, By the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it, he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. So now let's go to Exodus, and let's look at chapter 20. So the first book of the Bible is called what? The second book of the Bible is called Exodus. All right. So now let's go to verse chapter 20. Now chapter 20 deals with the law. And it deals with how many things, how many statements did God give Moses representing the law? Does anybody know that number? Was it 10, 100, or 1,000? All right. So 10. So here we see the 10 commandments. And all we're talking here. I don't want you to get lost in my teaching. If I'm going too fast, this Bible study. Raise your hand, ask me a question, I'll slow it down, read, address it, and then we'll pick back up again. But we're talking about this great debate that we're going to see Jesus dealing with throughout the scriptures. We see that Jesus healed a man on the Sabbath. They have a problem with Jesus healing the man on the Sabbath. And we see the Sabbath scholars are sitting around the table. And so we talk about the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and at this point it's the Pharisees who have a problem with Jesus and their master scholars of the Word. And the Word that they understand is those first few books of the Bible that the Jewish people would call the Torah. And so we see that they are engrossed in this portion of the Bible, and you're reading just what they knew at that time. And so over there in the first chapter of Genesis, Near the end, starting in verse 31, we went over to chapter 2, verse 1. It said God created some things, and when he finished his work, it was good. It was the sixth day. And then in verse 2, it said on the seventh day, all the work that he wanted to do was done, and he rested. On that Sabbath day, it went on to say that he made that Sabbath day holy, special. All right, so now we're in Exodus chapter 20, which is the... Second book of the Bible, right? Okay, now let's look at verse 8. And we're going to stop in verse 11. And this is the law, y'all. This is the law. Remember the seventh day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, neither you, nor your son, or daughter, nor male or female servant, nor your animals, nor any farm, farmer residing in your town. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, but he rested on the what? On the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. So now we're going to move forward. And we're going to come back. We never left. We're going to come back to our subject in chapter 3. And we, we look at chapter 2, verse 27. Then he said to them, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is Lord, even of the Sabbath. Now, we talked about that there was three Sabbaths. There was the Sabbath day. And then there was the Sabbath that represented going into and living out the place of the promise when they entered into the promised land. And then we talk about the third Sabbath, which was eternal salvation when we go to that high place and 
things of that nature. So, so just different understanding of, of the Sabbath. So I'm going to deal with those three right now. And Jesus says, here, listen, you missed it. The Sabbath is about man. God blessed this day for mankind. See, God understood how uh, work 